lots of big breaking news going on. And right now, America is under attack. America is under attack right now. And people are even admitting it. People are going on video and admitting that they are doing these attacks. They are part of this. This is coordinated. This is a group of people doing this. And there are people even on video coming out and saying this. So something big is going on. Top officials are warning to go now. Multiple states are under emergency situations and they are under level three emergencies. That's the level it's under. And once it's level three, it means go now. So multiple states are under this and you need to be prepared because your state could get hit next, right? We've already seen all of Canada get hit very hard, all right? And now the US is getting smacked as well. And all this happened simultaneously. All over the weekend, this happened, multiple states, and all in this region, right? All of a sudden, there's emergency situations and evacuations, mass evacuations happening all over the place. And they are also telling us that this is a coordinated attack as well. There are other groups saying that we are doing this and we are coordinating this. So we need to be getting prepared. We need to be getting ready. You need to know your evacuation routes. Do you know where to go if you had to leave your home? If there was some kind of emergency situation, they are going door to door right now. They have emergency officials going door to door and warning people that they need to evacuate right now. That's how serious it is. And the situation is getting worse by the second right now. All right. This is a live situation and they have officials going door to door, banging on people's door, telling them that they need to leave now. So where would you even go? It's one of these things where I move around in my RV sometimes. All right. I have a, I have a bug out property that I own. I have a few properties that I can go to that are mine. I can do what I want there, but also I'm moving around sometimes and where would you go if you were in a random place and you were told you have to bug out, you have to leave this area? And that's what's happening right now. People are under level three emergencies and being told to, quote, get out right now. This is in multiple states in the U.S. And you need to be prepared. You need to have an answer to that question, right? And it's one of these things where this is a situation where people really could get trapped and they really could be stuck in a situation. So you need to have multiple evacuation routes as well. Maybe there's only one road leading out of your area. So look into all the stuff, try to have multiple routes because they're warning people right now to get out and leave. And they're also warning that these attacks could be intentional, all right? And really quick, I'm just gonna rewind really quick, all right? We're covering a live situation, but also this happened Last week, there was a massive chemical plant explosion in Louisiana, all right? It was a Dow chemical plant explosion, and it released massive amounts of ethylene oxide into the air, which causes cancer. Ethylene oxide is also a main component in thermobaric weapons, okay? So this is anti-tank missiles, thermobaric bombs. There's a bunch of different applications, but ethylene oxide is critical. It's a military chemical component to a lot of these thermobaric devices. And this chemical plant was exploded in, in Louisiana and also had this chemical raining down on people. So essentially, in theory, a thermobaric bomb was set off in Louisiana last week at this Dow chemical plant because this is the main chemical that they manufacture. So we are already in a clandestine war. That's why I brought this up because this stuff's already happening. How many derailments have we seen? There was just another derailment in Montana yesterday. Major derailment with hazardous materials on board, but thankfully none of the hazardous materials spilled, but it was a 25 car derailment in Montana. This happened just yesterday and could have been a devastating situation. And it's, this seems to happen where certain areas are targeted. 
certain locations are targeted and we see a lot of activity there and that's what we're seeing right now we are seeing emergencies in montana idaho oregon washington and this is spreading all right this is spreading and this popped up over the weekend overnight so this is something that we need to be getting prepared for you need to have evacuation routes if you have animals what would you do with your animals a lot of times when people evacuate they leave their animals and they don't make it all right this happened with these hurricanes all right when there was when there was major flooding like katrina a lot of people evacuated and they left their animals there okay and not to mention what also happened during that evacuation situation they went door to door and there was confiscation during katrina as well they were going door to door and confiscating goods and certain items you can probably guess what they're confiscating and they are also confiscating food as well they can do that in these emergency situations if you have excess food your preps could be confiscated in an emergency to give that to other people all right they could say you have enough or you're hoarding whatever a lot of these things become outlawed in these emergency situations and you need to be prepared all right so i know this sounds a little crazy but maybe hide some of your food maybe hide some of your preps maybe hide some certain things that you might think would be confiscated in a situation like that maybe have a very good hiding place maybe i don't i don't want to give away any specific ideas but maybe have a very good hiding place for these because we've seen stuff like this in these evacuation situations and they're going door to door right now all right in the u.s right now going door to door and it's a very suspicious situation what's going on as well we're going to break down some of the details and some of the admitted things that they also have as well we're going to break all that down and how easy this could be manipulated so let's dive into what's going on we have washington oregon idaho and montana all under emergency situations and people being evacuated in all of these states just over the past weekend so there was nothing going on on thursday right thursday morning everyone woke up there's nothing going on now by sunday night i'm recording this video sunday it's going to be posted sunday night it's an emergency situation and people are evacuating and homes are being destroyed there are gas pipelines that could be destroyed farms are being destroyed all these things are happening right now and they're having level three evacuation so let's dive in i'm going to tackle each specific location so people know exactly what's going on and their specific place because people are searching for this people are trying to figure out what they should do and see where they should go all right so please hit it up for me down there to get this video out to more people it really helps and i really appreciate that so let's get into the first state washington all right emergency evacuations are happening in clickitat county washington right now all right and here's the article coming out of reuters washington state wildfire threatens homes farms and gas pipeline this is in clickitat washington and it has burned over 30,000 acres in 24 hours. And all these fires, we have a dozen fires pop up over the past weekend in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana. All in the Northwest, it's getting hit very hard right now. And we, are, we already saw Canada with these massive wildfires as well. They're still dealing with it. And it's so bad in Canada right now that they are issuing NOTAMs um, because they can't get fuel deliveries and those are like emergency notices to airlines and to pilots because they can't get fuel deliveries to airports all over Canada. This is happening right now from the fires. They cannot get fuel deliveries to remote airports and a lot of these airports all over Canada are essentially shut down because of the fires. All right, and they can't get fuel there, so they're issuing NOTAMs, that's what it's called, N-O-T-A-M, for pilots, and it's an emergency alert to say, hey, don't stop here, we don't have fuel, and if you stop here to refuel, you might get stuck here. All right, so this is already happening in Canada, and this is now spreading into the US, and we could see this get a lot worse. So Click Attack County right now, more than 30,000 acres burned 
in less than 24 hours and this is 0% contained right now. 0% contained and it is threatening homes, farms, crops, livestock, solar and wind farms and a natural gas pipeline county emergency officials said. So even a natural gas pipeline is in the path of this fire, all right? We have wind farms, solar farms as well, cattle, livestock. That's what I was saying, what are you gonna do with your animals in a situation like this as well? You need to have an evacuation plan. And a lot of times these ranchers, they just have to leave their cows there. They don't have the equipment there to pick up hundreds of cattle and bring them to a new location, all right? So a lot of times they just open up the gates and allow them to roam free and to try to run away from these fires. But you don't wanna have your animals in that situation. You don't wanna have yourself in that situation. So make sure you have these alerts, especially if you are in these states, we're gonna cover all of them, but just click attack county right now. All these things are being threatened. And if you are there, you need to evacuate now. You need to be looking up the evacuation routes because this fire is spreading very fast. Let's get into what's also going on in Oregon. You can see here flat fire and that fire in Washington is called the Newell Road wildfire. All right, we can also see in Oregon, the flat fire near Agnes. It grows to over 20,000 acres. All right, this is in Curry County, Oregon, and they are also issuing evacuate now orders, level three evacuate now, get out now, level three emergency orders. That's what's being ordered for Curry County, Oregon right now. And that means get out, quote, get out. That's what officials are saying. And that's what the alerts are saying. People are getting alerts on their phones to get out now. All right. So flat fire County near Agnes. This is in Curry County, Oregon. Also, Klamath County, Oregon as well is under a major fire and people are evacuating there. And they sent out an emergency evacuation notice to the whole state of Oregon actually on accident, a level three evacuation emergency order. They sent it out to the whole state, but it was just supposed to go to Klamath County, Oregon. All right, so multiple counties, multiple states all over the US and this just came out. This is July 22nd, 2023, all right? July 23rd, July 22nd, all right? All these articles are from the past 24 hours and we are having big fires just pop up out of nowhere. What's going on? You guys let me know down below what you guys think. We'll talk a little bit later about the possibilities of what it could be, all right? And also this warning that we had of people admitting that potentially they're doing this. We're gonna talk about that in a minute too. But you can see here evacuation orders and warnings are in effect for Northwest of Sealy Lake. All right, this is in Montana as well. This is Missoula County, Montana. They are also under emergency evacuation orders from a massive fire that is spreading. All right, there's also another one in Idaho, right outside of Boise. Okay, this is called the Gold Run Fire, right outside of Boise. That's That gained over 500 acres overnight as well. So these fires are spreading. They are getting worse and these Northwest states are being targeted right now and they're having major wildfires and people are being forced to evacuate. And it's a shame because it burns down these beautiful forests, these beautiful areas and locations, they get destroyed and burned down. There was a bunch of redwood and sequoia trees that were completely obliterated in California the past couple years from these fires. And these are some of the oldest trees that we know of on earth, hundreds and hundreds of years old, they estimate. Some of them even could go into the thousands, they estimate, all right? If these are the really big trees that you see in California, the massive ones that are, you know, 100 feet around, and it takes 20 people to get around them, all right, to hug the tree, to get all the way around it. And these trees have been destroyed as well. So it's a shame that all of these natural resources are being destroyed and these states right now are being hit hard all right so let's get into what's what i was talking about as people are admitting it okay so there's this video going around on social media of people being interviewed that are trying to get into america all right they're trying to get into america from all different ways but they 
there's a group of them that say apparently they are from China. Okay, this is what they're saying. This is what this group was saying. And this is what this video is saying that's going around on social media. And I said allegedly for a reason because this is what the, this is all allegedly, right? This hasn't been completely verified, but it seems pretty real and it's put out by reasonable sources, okay? But they are admitting that they are sending in tens of thousands of people and they already have over 30,000 people approximately that are part of this group and apparently the majority majority of them are from china okay and they are admitting that they are targeting infrastructure they are trying to pick up military data and communications and they are also going to burn down critical areas and critical infrastructure that we need all right so this could be a potential explanation of why we keep seeing all these hits we see these derailments we see these fires we see these explosions constantly we see these food warehouses these food factories these food production facilities all being wiped out constantly and how much more can we take all right i just read an article about venezuela all right it's one of the most oil prosperous countries on the earth they have the highest i think they actually have the highest oil reserves on earth all right venezuela does at least over here all right in north and south america venezuela does and they had a lot of prosperity from that but now they are down to one operating oil refinery all right one operating oil refinery in venezuela and they're having massive gas shortages because there's only one refinery left these oil refineries all over the u.s have been being destroyed they keep exploding all right i've covered dozens of them over the past year of refineries exploding chemical factories exploding warehouses food production facilities all these things are getting taken offline one by one and what happens when there's not enough left for us to produce our own goods and our own food. So get stocked up now, get supplies now, get food now because we could see more evacuation situations and you never know, all right? It could hit you even if you're on the East Coast, there's been a lot of drought down in Florida, all right? I've been monitoring Florida very dry right now we could see fires and there's also major fires in greece right now they are having mass evacuations there it's over it's close to like fifty thousand people are evacuating in greece right now and the firefighters are coming out and the leaders are saying hey this is intentional this was started by humans and we're gonna figure out what was going on we're gonna find out who did this they're saying fires don't just start out of nowhere that's what the greek officials are saying over there and the firefighters are even saying hey somebody started these fires and something's going on this fire spread like crazy overnight and now we're having over or close to fifty thousand people evacuating right in greece right now so this is happening all over and they are even saying that something's causing this all right fires don't just miraculously happen right they're most 99.9% .9 of the time they're started by negligence all right somebody being negligent with some kind of campfire all right but there also could be intentional fires going on as well people starting fires intentionally that want to cause chaos there are people that are pyro maniacs okay that just like starting fires there could be military coordinated campaigns to have these fires look at all these fires that started over canada overnight and they are even saying that benzene and formaldehyde were in these fires so this could be happening with these fires as well there are smoke alerts and air emergency alerts happening all over the west coast and all over the northwest right now as well and there are also things like directed energy weapons just like essentially like lasers high-powered lasers that could heat up certain points and start fires as well from a great distance all right i'm talking miles away there are directed energy weapons and lasers that could very easily heat a location and start a fire as well in a strategic location and their footprints their 
prints would not even be, it would be miles away. So it'd be very hard to detect and, and you wouldn't even be in this area. The person that started it wouldn't even be near the area. They could be miles away and start it. They could be miles away on a mountain and start a fire down in a valley or something, okay? So get prepared now, get your evacuation routes in order, get a HEPA filter for your AC, all right? I just cleaned out my AC and my RV. I haven't done it and I'm not even gonna lie, like a year, all right? Probably a year I haven't cleaned it because it's a huge job. I cleaned the filter, but who wants to get in there and clean it? It took a couple hours to really scrub it and clean it, but I wiped out all the vents and everything and it was clogged up. It was nasty, covered in dust. All the grates and all the, the metal was covered in dust and dirt and you need to be filtering out this stuff especially if there's a smoke that they admit has benzene and formaldehyde and that's what they're saying these wildfire smokes have in it this is definitely possible that's what they're saying it interacts with the uv in the atmosphere so make sure you have a hepa filter make sure you have a carbon filter as well and even if you do have an rv you can cut out a little piece of carbon fabric filter and put in your rv to fit it all right or if you have a weird size you can buy this carbon carbon uh, fabric to go to have a layer for your filter it will slow down your airflow it might make your ac work a little less efficient okay but in a situation like this you want to be filtering out all this particulate so have a carbon filter to capture these vocs these volatile organic compounds and also have a hepa filter to capture everything else all right viruses mold all the way down you can get very low micron filters for your air all right so please hit it up for me down there to get this video out to more people i really appreciate that because there are multiple states right now four different states that are having emergency evacuations and this just happened overnight all right they got off work they're hanging out on the weekend and now uh sunday nights or Saturday night, Sunday morning, they have authorities banging on their door in these counties and saying, you need to leave your house now. You need to evacuate now. So what would you do? Do you have an evacuation plan? Do you have a bug out bag? Do you have a bug out vehicle? Are you prepping for the big one, all right? Are you getting prepared? Do you have an RV? Maybe you have an RV as your bug out vehicle. That's a great um, solution to have just everything right there. You have a fridge, you have a bathroom, you have a shower you have a kitchen, you have somewhere to sleep. You know what I mean? You can fill up your water tanks. You can make this stuff last a while. Propane tanks, you have heat, you have AC. All these things come with a RV, right? So it's a pretty good bug out vehicle. Look into these things. Where would you go? What would you do? And thank you guys so much for watching. I live in my RV full time. I'm with my family. I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old. My son just celebrated his birthday a couple weeks ago. And I just really appreciate all the support, all the love you guys help make this possible, all right? So I really appreciate everyone that views, everyone that hits it up down there, everyone that comments, and everyone that doesn't, all right? I still appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a big old blessed day.